Last week, we toured one of the hottest new build subdivisions in Noblesville, Indiana, and that would be Westmore. Today, we're gonna to look at another one that's just been on fire, and that's Brooks Farm, which is being built by Lennar. Now, Lennar's been in business for, oh, 70 years now, and they sold over 60,000 homes last year. We're gonna walk one of their model homes today so you can see for yourself why they sold 40 homes last year in Brooks Farm. And then stick around. I'll share some other big reasons for their success. Hi, I'm Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team, bringing you the word on the street, talking Indiana real estate. Hey, before we get going, we're gonna go inside and take a quick look at the map so I can show you where everything's laid out and why this is just a really great location. Okay, put the glasses on so I can see this little uh, map and uh, walk you through it. We're looking at Noblesville here. Let's get this straight. And this is downtown Noblesville here, right around this area, okay? So we're off on the east side. We're right about, we're coming down uh, Greenfield Avenue here. We're right about here, okay? And so you've got the town of Noblesville, the town square, uh, county courthouse and all that right here. You've got Highway 37, which is a big major highway with all sorts of shopping and restaurants and stuff along here. We get out to this area, you've got Ruoff Music Center, and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. It's a, it's a really big happening place. And then down here, um, right along Campus Parkway and all this in here is Hamilton Town Center. And oh, there's some hospital in there and lots of uh, restaurants and Hamilton Sounds Town Center. Um, I'm actually gonna show you later on today but it is an open air mall that just has a lot of neat shops and uh, restaurants and a, a great place to go. Also right here, let's see if I can do this, is I-69, which takes you up to Fort Wayne or takes you down into Indianapolis. And this is I-465 here. So once you come down here, you get into Fishers and you have other places like uh, the Yard and Nickel Plate District, which is great for restaurants and shopping as well. There's lots of jobs in this area, lots of jobs. And if you get here to 465, you can go anywhere in the entire metro area. This is the Beltway and it takes you literally everywhere. You can get there from here, okay? So, hey, let's go take a look at that model. Hi, if it's your first time on the channel and you'd like to know about living in Indiana, then uh, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell to be notified of the uh, next great video. Um, you'll be the first to learn what's gonna happen in the market next and which uh, great house she's got a for sale sign put in its front yard. Coming up on uh, Lennar's uh, sales office slash model home, this is gonna be the Kingston model. Let's go inside and uh, take a look, shall we? Okay, we're in the uh, Kingston model. This is a five bedroom, three bath, 2,850 square feet, and it really lives large if you ask me. Right inside the front door, um, you've got a bedroom, which would be great for if you had an elderly family member or an adult uh, child, if there's such a thing. Maybe you want them away from everybody else. This might work out. It's got a full bath here that's pretty nice right off the entryway. And then as you enter uh, into the main living area off to the right here, you've got a really nice office space. They've got some built-ins here, some decorator features like this wall and the uh, built-in cabinets and that. But uh, there's an awful lot of things in this house that are a uh, standard issue. Come into uh, the gathering room, nice space, lots of natural light. Open to a dining area and the kitchen. Lots of counter space that you can use in a variety of ways. Coffee bar, bar, appliances, stainless steel appliances, quartz countertop, nice bar area here with four stools. They've got a neat top table here. Obviously, you could have a smaller one if you so desired, or if you're the family that hosts Thanksgiving. Heck, you could run this thing out for about 15 people. They've got the morning room over here, which could be another table if you so choose, and a nice little patio off of it. But everything's open for today's casual lifestyle. A nice, uh, decent-sized pantry here, and like they say, 
everything's included. Appliances, soft clothes, cabinets. Right here into the garage is a place for book bags and shoes and boots and coats and all those good things with a coat closet right there. But yes, all this countertop, farm sink, all, this, all these things are included. Okay, let's go upstairs and see what it looks like, shall we? Carpeted stairs, which I really like, so that uh, you don't hear all that noise and people going up and down. Stairs creaking and all that. I like this, the stairway seems about six inches wider, which is uh, nice. A little seating area, you could put uh, the chair here or plants. Nice open walkway here. Real nice loft. So you have two living areas. If you want uh, some privacy, somebody wants to watch a movie and somebody wants to watch something else, you've got that. We'll go to this side, we've got a uh, decent sized bedroom, good closet, good natural light. And next to it, another one. Remember there's five bedrooms here. We'll Walk-in closet. There's room here for chest of drawers, maybe a, a kid's desk or so. We go over to the other side over here. Nice big room, lots of natural light. Plenty of room for cabinet or chest of drawers. You're gonna like this. Got a double vanity. Private uh, toilet room. You could put a door on this if you wanted. Nice shower, nice tile work. Good size. Linen closet. Mine should be so neat. Hey, pretty nice walk-in closet. Okay, let's go back. What did we miss over here? We've got uh, bathroom here. Double vanities. Full bath. So it's the third full bath in the house. You've got uh, your laundry room and your mechanicals here. Convenient. And I think we have one more snuck in over here. Yeah, we have a, a fourth bedroom upstairs here. Lots of light in this room. This is nice. And a walk-in closet on it. Okay, one more look at the loft. So four bedrooms up, one down, three full baths. Okay, it's like a winner to me. Okay, there you have it. One of the great things about the everything uh, included package is that unlike some builders where you look at their base price and you've got to add like $75,000 to that to get the kind of home that you would want. With their packaging that way, the upgrades usually only cost like zero to 30,000, which is unheard of. A uh, really nice, sweet feature. This model that we just walked through, completely built out and depending upon what lot you're on and all those types of things, uh, maybe 470-ish, okay? Um, let me know what you think about the value and the home itself down in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. Okay, let's go take a look at some other houses here. The Brooks Farm uh, community here has uh, community pool, playground, uh, picnic gazebo, and walking trails. A lot of green area. It, uh, the, the HOA on it is uh, $62 a month to start. And uh, the school, Promise Road Elementary, is uh, pretty close here. It is uh, rated A- by niche.com. Uh, kids here will go to the Noblesville East L uh, Middle School, which is also rated A minus, and the high school, Noblesville High School, is A rated. Uh, the whole entire Noblesville public school system has uh, is ranked 23rd out of 290 in the state of Indiana. So it's a top 10 ranking uh, for the entire school system. <laughs> Seventy-five percent of the homes that are sold in this uh, community are either the uh, Kingston that we just walked through, or an even bigger model called the Valencia. And um, there, but there's five models to pick from. There's a whole lot of work going on up here. I'm not sure that we're going to be able to get through. Let's see. I think we'll turn around and go the other way. This past year, homes sold in uh, Brooks Farm between 338 and 607. I think for the most part, uh, if you're looking at the either the Kingston or the Valencia models, uh, the bigger ones, you're probably looking at somewhere from the uh, low to mid fours up into the low fives. Uh, 
that's probably being realistic about it, what you're looking at from a price standpoint. A lot of house for the money. We're making up for the last few days where the temperatures were in single digits and uh, so there's a lot of people working today. Lenar sold uh, 40 homes in this community last year and they've got 50 more to go. The rep told me that he's got about six that'll be coming home up, uh, be finished within the next 60 days. And then as the summer season picks up, there'll be a whole lot more coming online as they build towards that 50 yet to go. Um, on the other hand, their build time's only about four months. So if uh, that would work for you, you could pick out not only your Oh, floor plan and design and all that, but also all of your interior colors and selections. It's just uh, what makes you happy and what your timeline is. And yes, they do have incentives. Many have sold recently at an interest rate of 4.99 on a 7-1 arm or in the low fives on a 30-year fixed. Those are really great rates. They've got uh, homes at all different stages of construction, everything from these with just the foundations in to uh, ones that are just uh, about completed this week or next. You know, I started as a contractor working on projects like this, pounding nails, and then I was running crews, and I built homes and apartments, and heck, I was an appraiser and a construction lender. So I have a lot of experience that other agents do not, which means I can solve problems that other agents might not even realize that a problem exists, or it'd be too late before they could figure it out. Most important, when I work with clients on uh, new construction purchases, I am the only person in the entire transaction who by law must act in the buyer's best interest. Um, the typical purchase agreement for uh, an existing home is like eight pages. The uh, typical construction contract is anywhere from 40 to 50 pages or maybe even twice that amount. So there's nobody else to guide you through that and you don't know what you don't know. So think about it. Your realtor is the only person who protects you. Some problems are not so big, but you just never know. And this is not my first rodeo. You know, over the years I've seen things like, oh, crazy things like builders building over setback lines, builders building over the property lines. That was a fun one to fix. But I mean, it can be as small as uh, maybe a, a wall's in the wrong place or they don't have the right kind of light uh, set up or, you know, maybe the builder's just not making the progress they should. And I'm not talking about Lennar here at all. I'm, I'm just saying in general, if you're working with a builder, these are the types of things that can go wrong. Uh, they, I've seen them builders try and force people into other lots, um, just all sorts of scenarios. Now, there's only one way that you can be protected, and that's if I can register you prior to you walking through the home. So if it's Sunday afternoon and you are out uh, driving around, you decide that you want to go walk through some model homes, hey, give me a real quick call or text. I'll set it up for you on the spot, and then you can be protected. There's no cost to you to do that. And no, you don't get a discount from the builder if you don't use a realtor. So it's kind of crazy not to. And in fact, over three fourths of their um, contracts here at Lennar in this uh, uh, Brooks Farm uh, subdivision actually have a realtor involved. And it's a good thing. It protects uh, the buyer. They, it really does. Okay, after you uh, had a chance to look at that model home, you understand one of the big reasons why uh, Lennar was able to sell 40 homes out of this community last year. So now we're going to take a look at what the other big re reason is that they've been able to do that, and that is location. What are the three most important things in real estate? Yes, location, location, location. That never changes. Okay, I've come about uh, two miles east of Brooks Farm, mainly past residential subdivisions and coming up on Ruoff Music Center. Uh, it's kind of cold and desolate right now, but during the summer, this place really, really rocks out. It is one of the 
largest selling music, outdoor music venues in the world. In 2018, they sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. And every summer, there's a full slate of big name uh, acts. And heck, you can even buy a season ticket for it. It's, uh, it's, it's a great place. Uh, the one thing I will recommend is buy the Legacy Pass. It gives you, allows you to park clear up by the turnstiles, and at the end of the night, you're out of there in five minutes. It's crazy how great that is. And uh, heck, if you live at Brooks Farm, you're home in 10 minutes. Uh, pretty tough to beat. Coming up on the uh, Hamilton Town Center, it is an outdoor walkable mall. And uh, take you through here, it's got a, just a really wide variety of shops and really good restaurants and in the areas surrounding uh, as well so tons and tons of uh, retail shops and uh, food places and what have you You've got uh, livery here, which is, oh, I'd call upscale Mexican. It's a Cunningham property, and all of their restaurants are great. You've got Ford's Garage, which has uh, oh, really good burgers. And it's kind of interesting, fun place, uh, the way some of their marketing and, and just little things like uh, napkins and, oh, different things that they do inside that really are kind of interesting make it kind of fun you have a total wine for all your uh, beer and wine needs you can't find it there I'm not sure you can find it anywhere over here you got DSW and Ben's Warehouse and oh, just all sorts of different places. I'm going to take a ride down this little street. Very walkable. You got an old navy here. You got Lita, Express, K Jewelers, Victoria's Secret, Soma. Fun place to shop. More shopping than I can do. Route 21, finish line. American Eagle over here. Five guys. Yats. The Three Dog Bakery. My wife spends too much money there. Up on the corner here we have uh, Pies and Pints. Pretty good pizza, real good salads. Over here is Stone Creek, another Cunningham property, one of my more favorite restaurants. And right in front of us is Dick's Sporting Goods. So just all kinds of uh, opportunity here to satisfy your retail and dining pleasure. Got a big movie theater to go along with it. Across the street here you got IU Health Saxony Hospital. Looks like they're putting a big addition on to, uh, to that uh, hospital. And then you're into Fishers and there's just all kinds of jobs and more shopping and restaurants. Um, hey, if uh, you're considering moving to Noblesville, Indiana or the greater Indianapolis area, you want to get our relocation guide. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you'll want to get your own copy. Okay, I about have to take out a second mortgage to pay for my bill here at Cabela's and Bass Pro Shop. Really like that. It's a nice store too. And then over here... We have Outlaws. Steaks, burgers, spirits. 
they're not prime steaks, but I'll tell you what, for the dollar, it is a good place. They, uh, everything is very tasty. The service is great and the prices are great. And the atmosphere is pretty darn good. So what's not to like? I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you want to learn more about Noblesville, Indiana, or new construction homes anywhere in the greater Indianapolis area, or maybe you want to walk through a home that you've seen advertised for sale, text me or book a call. Uh, and then tune in every Tuesday for a tour of new construction homes. On Thursday, we go through uh, neighborhoods with existing homes for sale. And on Saturday, we talk about living in Indiana. So whether you're buying or selling, uh, be sure to give me a call because I work harder to make great things happen. Let me know how I can be of service. Make it a great day now. Hey, if you found this video helpful, you'll love this next one. Be sure to watch it right now.